Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So today we're going to continue playing as the Enclave, and I'm going to let you know this for a fact right now. This is going to be a messy episode. I tried this a little bit ahead of time, just to see what it would be like. I mean, we're still left off where we left off last time, but... This is going to be a very, very difficult video, I think. As far as what I know, it's probably going to be pretty difficult, but, you know, I could be wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy some soldiers here because our front line isn't going to be super great. Within this episode, we'll probably end up in a war with the NCR at the same time. But you, I have to consider this. Right now, I did play this a little bit ahead of time. Let's see, the Commonwealth Gangs of New York. Um, great cons. I'm not sure what you're pulling here. You're, you're not really close to New York. Like, you're at least a few thousand miles away from New York. So, whatever. Anyways... It looks like we got a lot of manpower, and yes, I did forget to put on some <sighs> dynamite. I forgot about that. That's actually extremely important, but I forgot about that. We can get New Reno, New Reno for Yakuza territory, which is fine, but I need to hold on to my political power as much as possible now because I need to, to delay. Okay, Sky Reavers joined the Commonwealth Gangs of New York. Need to delay the war with the NCR until I feel ready that I'm ready for it. So let's go ahead and grab some dynamite because that's very, very important. My mistake for forgetting that. And very soon, these guys will probably declare war upon us. So, Rapids... Why, why are you in a faction with each other? This is not good for us. This is not good. Oh, actually, the Commonwealth Gangs in New York are actually at war with the NCR already. Interesting. Siege of Poker's Ranch. They've got quite a bit of manpower and the Yakuza have declared war upon us. Uh, the Sky Reavers, hopefully they lose a lot of their manpower. My goal, honestly, I'm going to be at war with NCR. I'm already at war with the Yakuza, who is trying to kill me off right now, which is really, really bad for us. But, my goal is for the Commonwealth Gang of the Sky Reavers and the Great Cons to kill each other off so hard against the NCR that they'll be basically powerless when they go to war with me. Ooh, the Great Cons, their factions, is already at war with the Mormons. Oh, god dang it, and the Yakuza joined the Commonwealth. Why? How is that fair, man? So I didn't know the Mormons were actually at war with the Commonwealth, who's at war with NCR, who is not at war with me, but soon be war against the Commonwealth gangs. Honestly, if I have to, I will ally with the Brotherhood of Steel, like, for this war alone if I can, just because this turns out to be very difficult. Or at least, fairly difficult, since we're not winning a lot of our uh, battles here at the current moment. You hang on there, you cannot afford to lose. All right, good. We got the power armor in there. The Alliance declared war on Ronto, which I have no idea where that is at. They can't pierce my power armor, even though we're very, very low on power armor at the moment. So we got enough guns, which is good. But this is going to be very, very concerning, just because even though I think we have more manpower, they definitely have more divisions than us. So this is this is early game. This is no problem. They might beat us back a little bit. I'm not exactly sure, but I really hope not. They called in the Navajo Nations, they called in some of their allies, the Mormons want, or at least the Mormon allies want to have an aggression pact, which I'm okay with. And then the Desert Rangers joined the Yakuza faction, so this is one giant block, that's why I was talking about earlier. Now the Desert Rangers are also at war with the Jekylls, as well as the NCR, so that's actually good for us. That's actually a good thing for us, because this will help drain the NCR's resources, and drain these Desert Rangers and the Sky Reavers of their resources as well, and the Desert Rangers have no manpower, which is good to know. Awesome. Great Cons is our enemy. Uh, Federation of New York wants military access. Sure. And they're trying to kill us again. Ooh, yes. At least we have recon companies. Looks like the Capital Brotherhood. Thank God for the Capital Brotherhood wants to help us out. So we're going to get dynamite. We're getting that. What else am I doing? Um, more research speed sounds nice. How about a little bit more defense as well as breakthrough at the same time? Send one more of those Enclave Remnants this direction. Because we're going to start sucking up a whole lot of army XP if we can. Gearing up for war, very nice. We get more production cost or lower production cost for infantry, equipment, and armor. And I will make a decision about the mutant question soon. But is there anything else I can do over here? Honestly, I might try the Lucia incident so that the Western Brotherhood goes to war with the New California Republic and then I can try to join the Brotherhood of Steel which will help me take out the Commonwealth Gangs of New York even though they're on the West Coast because trying to fight just me the Enclave trying to fight the Commonwealth Gangs of New York against the Great Cons and all their allies is actually not very easy I'm not gonna do this one just because Desert Rangers are already at war with the NCR so 
Um, I will make a decision, though, about the mutant question. I'm going to piss... Eh, I won't piss people off, but... I'm going to make some people disappointed in which direction I choose. But let's go ahead and first get more cores. Yeah, more manpower and political power would be nice. Actually, civilization by force. I can get more manpower now, or I get more... A little bit more manpower, political power, and then f six more divisions, which is nice. Ooh. Hmm. Because in the end, I can still rebuild civilian power grids. It will take longer than last time, but... Huh. More, a thousand more manpower and six more infantry divisions. Oh. Well, a thousand manpower... Well, hold on. Let's take a look here first. So, Modoc, Antelope, and Denio. So, this is Antelope. That's 14... Almost 15,000. 5,000... 5,000... That's about... 25,000 man... 25,000 people for population. Currently, I get none, which is fine. And right now, with this, honestly, it might be better if I choose to do the one that gives me more divisions as well as a little bit more manpower because we can always core this stuff later on. That is actually not a bad idea. So let's go and do establish tributaries. I didn't think I'd actually choose that one, but that's okay. So right now our guys are trying to hang on to the line for, you know, oh my goodness, what the heck? Oh, just the rap, where were the rapids? Unfortunate news, unfortunately appears that some of our soldiers have taken up the practice of blasting a pre-war song on their, from the vertebrates during routine patrols. It does not need explaining how this behavior is reckless and needlessly conspicuous. Nonetheless, our popularity must be considered in these uncertain times. We could turn it up for just 10 more political power, which is honestly kind of okay with me. Crack down on this, which, eh, whatever. Uh, NCR suspicion. If the NCR suspicion will go up, let's just do this one. Just give me more, uh, man, more political power. And we'll get some more. Oh, yes, thank you, Mojave Brotherhood. I need that uh, stuff very badly. Uh, we will need more manpower in the future, trust me. Tank designer, we've tried that before, doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to need more monthly population stability. I don't mind doing this, but I really want to wait for hide activities from the NCR first. So, these guys, the Yakuza, are attacking me again, which is fine with me, even without... Oh, they're actually winning over here, that's not good. They actually might push us back, which is really, really not good. So, let me go ahead and throw on some recon companies. Make sure we make some, at least a little bit of support equipment. Take that off, do that, do that. That'll be good. So at least we get a little bit more defense here. And, and we'll try to go back, exchange hands quite a few times, as we are slowly beginning to lose a little bit more land at times, maybe, maybe not. They are reckless. But now we have some guys to help us out here as well. Good. Just drain them of their resources and their manpower. Let's see, casualties. We have suffered 422 versus their 1.1 thousand. Not bad. Still waiting for this. We apparently, we'll need about 244 political power for that, which is fine and dandy. And we're fighting all these guys. Really, we need to take up the Nojave no, no, Navajo Nation, which is all the way over here because Kaisar refused to go to war with them, which makes no sense. Kaisar, do th can they go to war with the Navajo Nations? Conqueror of the 86. Crossing the Rubicon. Ooh, Mexican expansion. Now this Pecos and Baudelio. Baudelio. Poking the bear. Worthy foe. Um, Great Khan's leave. Commonwealth of Gangs. Yeah. I don't think they will, which really sucks. I need this nation gone. Oh, the Jackals are actually pushing back out. Interesting. Let's see what's going on here. So, the Jackals have a little bit of manpower. The Desert Rangers have none. The NCR has quite a bit. They have pushed slightly into the Desert Rangers' territory. Ooh. The NCR is fairly popular with the intellectuals. Hello there. And then, of course, we have the Sky Reavers, who still has quite a bit of manpower. So, I really want the NCR and the Commonwealth Gangs to really kill each other off really badly. Cool. So they pushed us back just a little bit, but something tells me that they probably made a mistake doing that. Because if they take my territory, I feel inclined to take their territory. Uh, actually, leave the most damaged one by itself. Cool. Go ahead and move. Eh, you probably don't even need to move in from there. 
Awesome, established tributaries, more divisions, more manpower, and more political power. And honestly, we can't do very much else. We still only have 16 army XP. I could do the Lucia incident, but I don't want to go to war with the NCR yet. I want them to beat the crap out of our enemies first. I could go for a double bonus of air doctrine, but we're going to wait for that. So let's go ahead and do the mutant question. Uh, for this, ooh. Seven and a half combat width. Ten combat width. Throw them, throw them all over here. Tribal militia. Oh, I only have 16. Um, make you at least nine combat width. Tribal infantry. You're ten. That's not good. And I don't have enough for this. Oh, I can do that. Let's do that. Cool. Alright, throw those divisions on the line. That'll be good. A little bit more manpower always helps. Oh, and it's paused. And I will push soon. That's, that's my goal here, to push at least somewhere somewhere good. Oh, the Navajo nations have made it over here. Interesting. Wolf Brotherhood has fallen, and that's okay. You want to attack? I will help attack you. Alright, you attack, and you can't really defend yourself. Awesome. Mutant question. So, I figured that... Hmm... Expand the definition of human or segregation. Apparently there's an indie bundle tracker as well. Hmm. A vault city citizenship protocols. Honestly, I went with expand the definition of human. I kind of want segregation though. Just because it reduces the relevance of legitimacy. Which will be good for us in the long run. We become a little bit more oligarchic. We get a slightly more daily political power. More organization. We lose quite a bit of recruitable population though. Which I don't really like. But we get more division recovery rate, and but we do lose some civilian power grid production speed. But, in the end, we do get some of that population back, non-core manpower. We can produce infantry equipment like no tomorrow. We get plasma weaponry. Plasma weaponry is really good. Like, it's quite a bit better than what we're currently using. And we just reduce the effects of legitimacy on us. Which I think would be good if we're trying a more autocratic run. And we can help produce more power armor equipment. So I think in the long run this might be better. And we do get the F-85 fighter. I know people want me to probably do uh, no segregation. But we did that last time. And I'm going to try something else this time. So segregation. Yes. I did segregation. Okay, cool. So that just already hurt us with our population. Which is going to immediately go down. Which sucks. To 58%. Which really sucks. We lose some legitimacy, but we get more stability and oligarchy. That's fine. I don't really care. So, just fine. Don't worry. We we're um, segregationists, I guess you could say. Cool. And if we're going to attack, make it very pointed. Oh, we actually have divisions here. That help, 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 help hold the line. That'd be good. Um, I don't want to attack too hard in a certain any one area. Let them waste themselves on us. I'm going to send you down here. Nice, we got some dynamite finally. Good. Get some more soft attack. Immediately put that on these... Oh, I can't do it. I don't have enough army XP. And I definitely, definitely need more factories. God dang it. I mean, I can do this, but... At least get something started. Cool. Oh, they're actually trying to push back in or out or something. It's going to be a no for me, dog. But as long as these guys are just beating the crap out of each other, and I'll keep an eye on how far the NCR is to losing, which would be great. Uh, currently, the NCR... Oh, the Jackals are almost gone, but they've been almost gone for most of the time. Uh, let's see. Current wars. Brotherhood aggression. Oh, the Western Brotherhood still at war with Arroyo. Oh. Oh, that's, oh yeah, I need to ally with the Western Brotherhood. That'd be good. Yeah, because... Uh, then we get all these allies that can help us take out everyone else. And then backstab, backstab them later in the future. The Brotherhood Enclave War. That's not me. That's the other Enclave. Um, where are we? Holy Swamp. Pharaohs for Idaho Falls. Oh, here it is. Kind of. Foragers and CR versus these guys. New Canaan. What? Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter since we just need to see the NCR. And they barely lost anything, so... That's the most important thing. Hing a ding a dargan. I'll go ahead and do that. That's actually good for us, so that I can go ahead and move us on to getting 
I'm going to need more manpower. Consumer goods will be important as well. Is there anyone... Oh, we can get more attack, can't we? We can get more, like... Like, a lot more attack. Oh, but we need 250 political power, which is just too much, in my opinion, right now. So... Less political power for more stability. Unpopular fragmentists. What is our current rate of producing factories? 8 out of 15. That's not good. But if I heard it a little bit more, no one will really feel the effects. Hmm. I need more monthly population, to be honest. So, let's go ahead and do, do him. We'll get some stability, so that'll be kind of nice. How many factories did we lose? Probably two. We lost one. No problem. No problemo. Supplies. Doing better on power armor, especially with an import from the Mojave chapter. Go ahead and stick your stuff in there. Awesome. You know what? I feel confident. Tell these guys to go bye-bye. Oh, they actually wanted to attack me in the other direction as well. Interesting. Thanksgiving. Americans join the return of the 4th of July so much that the president is thinking about restoring more holidays. One of his favorite enclave traditions is Thanksgiving, where we carve the roast death claw and eat sweet tato pie. We could revive this tradition for the entire country and ensure people are thankful for friends and family. The enclave for protecting friends and family, which I don't care about legit legitimacy anymore. And low, low prices from the Crimson Caravan, which I will do low, low prices. I love my low prices. They so nice. Awesome. Um, I will need more manpower. I do want to get rid of Boris just because I don't really need any more intellectual support. So, getting rid of him would probably be okay. Uh, I could do this, actually, for a little bit more man, man, manpower. Manpower. Not, I was going to say something else. Probably this guy, just because we get, we get some of the consumer goods back as well. Yeah, do that. Replace him. Now, most of our army is made up of not, not um, power armor stuff. Not bad. I don't want to do just one blanket attack, because I don't think that would be very successful for us. Do that. You should be able to win there. Point him out, and then do this, and see where that division goes, or ends up. Come on, and... Oh, alright, well, whatever. You can take out that thing. Walking tanks, very nice. We're going to go with Pinnacle, or Principle, instead of Purity, because... Purity really, really hurts your recruitable population, and we've already hurt it quite a bit. And I can't take any more hits like that. Not too much, at least. That's nice. our guys are trying to attack, so we'll help them out. Welcome, Vault, C C Vault City citizens. We lose legitimacy, that doesn't even matter, but I want to get plasma weaponry, which will be very good, more political power, and we get an insane production bonus to infantry equipment. Yeah, guys, just attack us, attack us, attack us. You still have a little bit of manpower, but you're soon to be out. Good. You should be able to do this quite fine without anybody's help. Awesome. Uh, the Jackals are still there. The NCR looks like they are losing a little bit, which is not bad. They still have a ton of manpower. These guys have lost half their manpower, which is good. And the Desert Rangers, of course, have nothing. Oh, and the Yakuza are fighting us again. Alright, well, whatever. Mm, yeah, let me just keep attacking us. Ooh, we have an upgrade, perhaps, sir? Oh, whoops, my bad. Yes, we have an infantry expert on our hands. Cool. Uh, these guys are actually kind of tired and injured, so teach him a lesson. Send a militia division in there as well. He's only 10 combat width. But, whatever. See, once I push really hard into the desert rangers area, it really won't be too bad. Angels of the Apocalypse, very nice. And they are going to war with us constantly, constantly, as I get a phone call from someone I have no idea from. Interesting. Militia training, awesome. We did the power armor stuff over there. We could do this. Air doctrine might be good for more fighter detection. That's okay. Mm, we could use medical chem companies, though. Alright, time for us to go really hard home. I want to capitulate these guys and take their factories. That'll be very important. So everyone has been tasked to attack as the jackals are attacking the Japanese in the butt. Uh, we're also joined here by my cat named Binky, who's currently sleeping in the sun. My cats are such sun bathers. They love the sun so much. Uh, uh, reinforce rate? Mm, that would be nice. Let's get some more de defense and breakthrough. This will be important as we're attacking more and more. Oh my goodness, Yakuza tr uh, tribes or Yakuza territories, not tribes. That might be considered derogatory. Nice, there we go. Thank you very much. Cool, let's get rid of these humdingers. 
Actually, let's not attack them too much because I still want the NCR to struggle. I want the NCR to struggle an insane amount. So, the 80s join the... What the heck? The 80s, really? Oh, they're touching the... They're touching tips with the Brotherhood of Steel. Huh. Interesting. Fruits of their labors. Very nice. Plasma energy. I love it. I love it. Uh, plasma energy. Yes, please. And from here on out, I'm not going to do this anymore. So, because 293 political power is an insane amount. As we're getting more power armor from those guys over there. And I really need to make sure Point Green is ours. When we uh, have a good old time with the NCR. Precise targeting. Awesome. 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 Uh, go and just get more mortars. Just increase the soft attack of our divisions by as much as possible. Ooh, look at the allies of the Sky Reavers and the Desert Rangers are up here as well. Interesting. And I hope, I really hope, they do try keep attacking me. Nice. We definitely need more gunships and power armor, but whatever. Uh, come down here to Curse and City. We have 54, so we're making some. You might as well do... Uh, actually, keep doing this area. I think that'd be for the best. Hmm. I'm surprised the Western Brotherhood is struggling so much with the Royal. Yes, these are mountains and hills and whatnot. But these guys don't have... They have some manpower. They got a couple divisions. Kaiser's Legion. Whoa! Are they in a civil war already? Holy... Wait, what? It's only 2279, though. They weren't supposed... Kaiser wasn't supposed to die yet. Oh, my goodness. Lanius, what are you doing? Oh, uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone here. This didn't happen last... Oh, my goodness. They joined the Commonwealth Gangs of New York. Don't t tell me I'm going to be at war with the... Oh, God. I hope this faction loses. I really do. Actually, that... Oh, that's bad. That could be good. That could be bad. Just because now, this Navajo Nation can send more soldiers to Volpus's Legion, which could kill off the Kaisar's Legion, which would make them insanely powerful. Oh, my goodness. I was not expecting that. What has happened to this campaign? Oh my goodness. Um, I do want to get kick these guys out of the former Yakuza territory, so let's do that. Um, send the infantry. Don't want to waste those guys. Save the power armor. Maybe send one division this way. Oh, down here. There you go. White likes declared war on New Canaan. Oh my goodness, this is insane. Yeah, I'm going to have to join the Brotherhood of Steel just for a little bit. Just so that they can help fight with our enemies once the NCR is gone. Because this is, this is turning crazy. Kaiser's Legion, I don't think he's going to win in the end. Grand Tribes. Uh, I guess they're fighting... Jackals join... Holy crap, what is going on? I just don't want Volpus's Legion to win. I think they will, just because they have the Navajo Nation up here. Oh my goodness, this is not good. This is insanely not good. Ugh. Oh, also... Thank you, NCR. Yeah, I'm going to join the Brotherhood of Steel because that's the only other faction that I can ally with that would actually make it possible for us to win a war with. Are we? Yeah, we're... Oh, actually, they are abandoning their lines. Go ahead and just start attacking them, I guess. NCR, how are you winning? Are you going to go to war with Kaiser's Legion as well, NCR? What What's going on? Like, am I taking crazy pills? This is... I mean, I'm, I'm tired. I'm actually quite tired because my schedule for sleeping is just... It's been out of whack since I was born. But... Oof, what is going on? Please, don't go to... Actually, if you go to war with Kaiser's Legion, I'm just going to go declare war on the NCR anyways, so... But I'm going to need an ally with the Brotherhood of Steel. Hmm. I mean, the Desert Rangers will be ours, which will be fine. Healing Powder is nice. Uh, get more recon companies. Go ahead and throw some yes please, yes please on there. I'm not gonna throw it on the other divisions just because I don't have all the supplies or the even the manpower at the current moment. I need more support equipment too. So just go ahead and take as much as you can, and this kind of will open up another front against me against the NCR. But because of what I did down here, hopefully the front will be mostly maintained to this more central eastern part of California. That would be very good for us. We still have 10 days for this, which is fine. Do this so we can get as much army XP as possible. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. 
That's a lot of manpower to fight, though. Versus these guys, they're almost running out. It'd be very interesting to see what happens. Okay, so the Brotherhood's not war with the NCR. Um, frankly, uh, I guess I don't have to waste time and do the Lucia incident. What? What is this episode? Ooh, home defense. Actually, that could be really good for more division defense on core territory. We get a little bit more recruitable population, which is extremely important for us. Institute home draft. And then army reserves would also help us quite a bit with... 61% total effective manpower pool. Wow. What has happened? Just what has happened in this episode? Go ahead and do this as well. I need to get rid of Boris because he keeps ruining... Um... No, this is Norman. Oh, we already got rid of Boris. Okay, so we don't lose any more elite support, which is fine. Uh, now, what I'm thinking of currently is this. I can't have the NCR lose too quickly because I need the Brotherhood with me. Hmm. Here's what we'll do. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to watch the Brotherhood ex okay, right then. expand out a little bit more. But keep an eye... Ooh, mortars. Keep an eye on the NCR. Just because... Where are they? Oh, yeah, they haven't lost too much. They lost 17,000 men. The Delta joined the gangs in New York. The Deltas. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and we still have this. All right. Um. Yeah, we're going to need more of that. Let them take this territory. We're pushing these guys pretty hard. I don't have time to... Holy crap, 358 things. But uh, I don't have time to do another one. So, honestly, I'm going to try something a little crazy. So, the Brotherhood is now at war with the NCR, which is fine. Which will help us kill off the NCR. Brother War and Arroyo, as well as the Foragers. If I can go to war with... The New California Republic, I might have a chance of joining the Brotherhood's faction. I don't think I do. But if I do that, I'll be put in a war with the NCR. I get their factories, and I could focus on the Commonwealth once we're done here. So I think that would be okay. So, you know what? God dang it. Let's just go ahead and do it. So, the Californian Revolution, while technically speaking more of an invasion, the support we have built up with the desperate and destitute in the NCR allows us to portray the event as a popular uprising. Our signal has been sent across the nation. It is time to take up arms against the corruption of the NCR regime, down with the bear, up with the stars. And we get ten states. Beautiful. And we're at war with the NCR. Now we have twenty militia divisions, so that's actually pretty good. Um, go ahead, put on you as that. Come over here. And I need to promote somebody, but I can't quite do that yet. So, this has given us quite a few more factories, which is nice. Oh, baby, yes. Give me more factories. I'm going to need some of this. I'm going to need a lot more of this and then this. And then some of that as well. Cool. We have literally doubled our um, factory count, which is great. Really good for that. And we don't have to waste time anymore with this. Uh, send out the manpower, because why not? We can do requisition resources. Uh, go ahead and move in as fast as possible, guys. I really don't like requisitioning resources, but we might have to. We get less supply consumption, which is pretty good. And lose an arms workshop, but get more infantry equipment. Well, we're doing okay on infantry equipment. We did take a dockyard. Ooh. Just make some convoys for now. And actually, um, give me two of you guys. I need you to help guard the port, because we will get attacked here. Yeah, that'll be important. Uh, but at least we doubled our factories. I guess I can't join anyone's faction. They will not ex- oh. They're hostile towards the Yakuza. They really hate us because they're at war with allies. The fall of Hoover Dam, the NCR's ap apogee, brought it to the Colorado River and the conquest of Hoover Dam. But with the outbreak of Civil War, the NCR's garrison was called home. The Legion seized the facility in short order, and the Secret Service fears they will soon march on New Vegas and points west. Oh, at least that actually might help Kaiser's Legion just a little bit, but because this is scary. That's very scary. 
Nice. As we are pushing these guys down hard and furious into here. But make sure that the Sky Reavers and their allies don't have a lot of manpower. They are running out, which is good. The Grabber Territories is starting to run out. The Mojave Brotherhood joined the Brotherhood of Steel. The NCR declared war on the Mojave Brotherhood. Why would that... Why would you do that? You didn't even finish your focus yet. What's going on? Whatever. Um, uh, disorganized remnants. We can't do fools and dreamers just because we don't have the legitimacy. So I'm going to go with organized re remnants so we get just 3% more recruitable population. Because I'm going to need that probably very soon. Antioch. Pharaohs join the Commonwealth gang. God, I hate this Commonwealth gang. I n didn't have to deal with this last time. Wait, I need 7 divisions. I only need 2 for ports, don't I? Um, Enclave branch of the New York people lost against the Brotherhood of Steel, which isn't good for us, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Alright, so you, you're taking a little bit too much territory where you can't really defend all that. You guys need to hurry up and kill these guys off. We get some divisions from the Capital Brotherhood. Thank you, Capital Brotherhood. You are the best Brotherhood. Don't tell the Western Brotherhood I said that. Good. We're doing a... Oh, shoot. I knew this... I thought this would happen. Sky Reavers are out. Move these guys up. And go ahead. Create cons, as it were, with us. These guys are doing fine. Warrior training, nice. Navajo Nation's declared war on White Legs. Warrior training. Desert Rangers have capitulated. Thank God. Oh, all these guys are going to get taken out apart like crazy. Um... I might need to shift my divisions over this way, actually. Oh, but maybe not, because this is going to be a pain in the butt, too, as well. Oh, my gosh. This is nuts. Oh, look at all the territory we have to fight. Oh, my gosh. Really, the best thing to do is to take out the NCR and then focus on taking individually the Commonwealth Gangs of New York. If there's a peace deal, I hope there is. Oh, wait. We're, that's Kaiser's Legion? Wait. Because it's part of the Desert Rangers. God dang it. I can't march into here. Ah, uh, this is screwed up. This is so screwed up. Holy crap. I've never seen me mess this up so badly. Well, it's not really me. It's just the game. I'm going to call an audible here. So, I'm going to take you off, and you're going to come down here. And let's go ahead and reform your lines by doing this. Because you'll push through here. These guys, the infantry, will just kind of stay here and just kind of hang tight and see what happens. Uh, yeah, just kind of hang tight. Have a good time. Reform yourselves. Make sure you don't get really encircled too much. Push in when you can. Uh, come over here. Down to here to here. To come through up to here. I need you to come over here. I need you to come down here. Nice. Take that. Oh, you can not take that, but that could help. Nau Vegas joined the Commonwealth. Vertebrate crash in Legion territory. Mr. President appears that one of our own vertebrates engaged in peaceful reconnaissance over Legion territory crash. Sadly, our efforts to maintain technology that was designed before a global atomic war two centuries ago, although impressive, is not perfect. Kaiser's men are ransacking the crash site, and although they probably can't build vertebrates, it might give them insight into rebuilding their own air force, in which Legion helps out, or gets bonuses to aircraft. And Sac City Remnants. After the fall of Navarro, many survivors tried their luck at integrating into the NCR. While a large number were found out and arrested, many more were su successfully began the new lives in Sac City. Those people and their descendants have now petitioned us to join the Enclave. I'm going to need that manpower. So, that's going to be it for today. Holy freaking crap, what happened? I tried, like I said, I tried this earlier. This did not happen, though. I, I, was, I was at war with the Commonwealth of New York, even though there is no Commonwealth of New York over here. So, I don't know, man. Weird, 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 weird faction. But anyways, yeah, this is turned very crazy. The NCR is dying, but we're going to have one heck of a border with the Commonwealth of New York, which is going to be pretty difficult to kill. So with that, my guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we attempt to hang on for survival for our dear lives. Thank you very much for watching.